Oh, snap. So after 10 kills, you actually get the uh, the reactive effect. Okay, here's uh, kill number 20. Let's see if anything crazy happens. Dark. Oh, this looks so dope. 13 or a signal 50 here. And there you go. The signal 50 also comes with tracers, which is pretty dope if you ask me. Would you still care to talk so, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino Quaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and Warzone 2. In today's video, we're covering the ultimate store bundle, the best store bundle to come into Modern Warfare 2, and that's going to be the Tracer Pack Elemental Thunderfront bundle. As you guys can see here, this has an operator skin that evolves with kills. So as the more kills that you get, the more thunder that this gun, this uh, operator skin is going to have. So it's a reactive operator skin. Comes with reactive tracer blueprints and an electric vehicle skin as well. And this is for 3,000 COD points. So it's for 30 freaking bones. Which if you guys look at the, uh, you know, the, the money monetization options for this, I guess the best way to go about it would be to buy like three of the 1100 cod point bundles or maybe one of the 20 and one of the 10 uh it's a it's a little pricey so for today's video i'm gonna show you guys everything that there is in this bundle show you guys how the operator skin looks like when he evolves which is crazy and show you guys how the traces look like and how the blueprints evolve or i guess are reactive uh, as well and anything secretive about this bundle if you guys are excited to see this bundle in full and see anything awesome about it make sure you guys drop a like in the video subscribe and turn on those post notifications i do upload sword bundles pretty often on this channel you know whether it's tracers you know reactives operator skins that are cool or whatever the case is i also upload warzone 2 gameplay from time to time and new slash update videos so you guys have something a little bit different every so often to watch on the channel if you want to go ahead and do so go ahead and subscribe i'm just glad that you're freaking here but with all that being said, let's go ahead and check out this 3000 COD point bundle. So here we have the operator skin for Zeus known as Thunder Wave. And this is the final stage of the reactive operator skin, as you guys can see from the bottom right. Uh, this is a crazy freaking skin. He's got a whole bunch of thunder just, you know, illuminating his whole, uh, his whole body and everything. And I think he looks really freaking rad. I'm expecting a little bit more in-game just because I feel like this is a little bit tame, but I think in-game you'll be able to see a lot more. But um, this is the main reason why this bundle is 3,000 COD points. And do you think it's worth it? Hey, money is varied on each person. Cosmetics are varied on each person, so it's up to you. Next up, we got the ultimate blueprint with Tracer and Death Effects, the Majorner M13B. And this thing has thunder all over it. It comes with blue tracers and a smoke shock death effect. And if we enlarge it, we can see that it completely turns the enemies into a burst of lightning. So that's actually pretty insane. Because of a blue dot for a reticle, and uh, it looks crazy. Like, is this how the gun looks like in game? <laughs> that is actually pretty wild, to say the least. No ammo, so you can't put these traces on other guns, unfortunately. You can only put it on other M13B uh, blueprints. So that kind of sucks, but still, if you love the M13B, you're in luck. Next up, we got the Victus XMR Thunder's Call, which is for obviously for the Victus XMR, and it comes with the same tracers once again, you know, electrifying your opponents whenever you shoot them. And as you guys can see, it once again has that whole thunder effect. What kind of attachment? Oh, it has a .50 cal explosive ammunition. So you might be able to put on these tracers on other snipers. And I'll show you, I'll make sure to tell you guys uh, when I buy this bundle and check all the guns, what guns you can put it on. But uh, that's cool. You might be able to put on these electric tracers on other uh, on other guns. But other than that, you don't really got, um, you know, nothing crazy. Just the thunder on the Victus XMR and it looks pretty freaking rad. We also have the electric hog that is has a electricity on it. So if you run it in like Warzone or whatever, you could pr probably see it. I'm not really going to show it off, but it should look pretty awesome. We also got the weapon charm with the blue bolt the Electro Strike loading screen, and the Circuit Breaker emblem. And all this is for 3,000 COD points. If you were to ask me, 
it's overpriced. It's an M13B, which is not the most meta of weapons, and the Victus XMR. I'm not really, you know, crazy about. It's a good gun, but I'm not crazy about. The operator skin is what's really driving up the price, and if you feel like it's worth it for that, then, you know, go ahead and do what you want with your money. But I'm going to copy it for today because, you know, I want to make sure you guys are fully informed of this bundle, letting you guys know if it's worth it or not, or, if it, you know, all the properties that it has. But it's pretty freaking dope. Like, all of these are reactive, as you guys can see. The bottom right, it says reactive. So all of these are reactive blueprints. And a reactive operator skin, which should be cool to look at. But enough of me blabbing. Let's go ahead and check out the camos on this freaking bundle. Okay, so here we have the new Thunder Guns of the M. Joner M13B and the Thunder's Call Victus XMR. If you're curious about how the charm looks like, that is how it looks like. It's very small, as you guys can see. So nothing too uh, game-changing about the charm. But yeah, once again, here are the default attachments of the M13B. And let's go ahead and check out the camos to see how it looks like on the weapon. So uh, those are the base blueprint camos. Here's how gold looks like. Nice little contracts with the mag there here's how platinum looks like polyatomic which also looks pretty sweet with the nice little combination of blue there and orion so nothing too crazy in terms of the mastery camos when it comes to the yellow fun camo you can kind of see some thunderbolts going through the yellow fun camo there and for the solid color camos it looks kind of nice but nothing too like game changing when it comes to putting on a uh, solid color camo so honestly the default look is probably going to be the cleanest unless you just like the, the nice little mini thunderbolts uh in the weaponry throughout using the uh, the different camos next up we also have the victus xmr thunders call and here are the default attachment this here here's how it looks like with camos these are the base blueprint uh, camos or the base camos i should say and here's gold here's platinum here's polyatomic giving it a nice all black and sort of purple look and we also got Orion giving it a full like dark Orion look, which is cool if, I, if you like it. I'm not really crazy about it. Here are the fun camos, kind of giving the gun a very interesting brown look with the yellow fun camo there. Here's Aqua, here's Azul. Oh, this gun actually looks really nice with the, uh, the solid color camos. Like it actually con like completely covers the gun, which is, I think it's pretty sweet. Let me know what you guys think about that. Here are the CDL camos. You also get solid color camos from the CDL camos. So if you wanted a very nice green and you had the Optic Texas camo on, you could do that. It's actually a really nice blueprint for some of these camos. For the solid colors, that is. So yeah, you can get some interesting combinations, at least with this Vixus XMR. It's all not too bad. And I wanted to note that you actually can put tracers on the Signal 50 here. Uh, from the Victus XMR Sniper. It's the only other gun that's going to have tracers because of this bundle. You can put the, the, the Thunder Tracers on this weapon. So you actually are buying a third Tracer gun if you choose to put the 50 Cal Explosive Rounds on the Signal 50. So three Tracer guns, not too shabby, but could have wished they, they, they put it for four more weapons, but oh well, you gotta take what you can get. And now we're gonna see how the blueprints look like with their meta attachment here on Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer. So here's the base default blueprint attachments for the Majorner M13B. And here are the meta attachments for the M13B. And unfortunately, you do lose a lot of the look of the gun, but I mean, the base, you know, look of the gun still looks great and it'll still be electrifying, I imagine, even as you get your kills. So it's not too bad, but could be better. You could probably improve it with like a solid color camo or something. Here's the base blueprint attachments for the Thunder's Call Victus XMR. And here's the meta attachments for the Victus XMR. And unfortunately, once again, you do lose a lot of the look of the gun. However, I mean, like I said, it's much more better with camos, you know, because you get that solid look. Unfortunately, with the attachments that you do change, you get some of the color pattern, at least here with the CDL camos. But with the solid color camos, you do get a little bit more of a clean look, even though there's some uh, dissonance with between the camos, so... Still kind of a W if you put on like some solid color camels, I'd say. And yeah, I believe that's everything that is showed to the menus. So we're gonna go ahead and head into a game, see how he evolves and how many kills it takes to like make him evolve and all that. And uh, we're gonna see how the blueprints look like in game. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the M13B Mjolnir. I think that's how you say it. I Sorry if I've been saying it wrong, but it looks very freaking clean. And here is the Thunder's Call. Uh, Victus XMR, which looks absolutely freaking beautiful as well. I think I like the sniper more than the M uh, the, the M13. The M13B uh, actually kind of glows in the uh, the darker bit. I think I'll, I'll take it to like the, the black gold map or whatever, so you guys can see how it looks like in, uh, in a really dark environment. But I think they do glow in the dark, because this is a bit of a darker part of the map. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check, check, take a look at the traces again. 
Oh, they even leave like some thunder sparks there that are kind of like animated at the end too. Uh, how about this? Yeah, pretty freaking clean tracers for both weapons. And keep in mind, you can put the Victus XMR tracers on the Signal 50, like I said before. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the tracers on the M13B here on the Death Effect. Yeah, it legit freaking gets rid of them. It doesn't seem like there's any reactiveness after one kill. Maybe we'll notice it after a couple more kills, but it really does, uh, like, electrify them, like, to the max. Let's go ahead and check out the Victus XMR on, the, on this player here. And yeah, that is actually pretty sweet. Actually really, really freaking sweet. I'm definitely gonna have, to get, gonna have to get like a third person perspective to show you guys how the evolution of this uh, operator skin goes. Let's go ahead and see how the operator skin looks like with a finishing move real fast. Yeah, so that's how he looks like uh, in terms of like, you know, nothing going on. I don't know if it's like kills with, with a gun or if it's kills, you know, or how many kills it takes to like activate his reactiveness, but I'm not really noticing anything yet in terms of the operator skin. Okay, so that's kill number four. I don't seem any different. Let's do another finishing move just to be safe. Bro, how many kills does it take, bro? It might have to take me a bit, Loki, to activate the, uh, the effects. Because I don't really see the effects so far. I feel like it'd be noticeable, if anything. Oh, snap! So after 10 kills, you actually get the uh, the reactive effect on the M13B, which looks crazy. Is it on the same? Yeah, you get the reactive effect entirely for the uh for these weapons that's a 10 kills and i think i look different as well so it's 10 kills it could be finishing moves could be regular kills or whatever let's go ahead and check it out in the dark but yeah look at these electrified m13b and the electrified uh victus xmr this is actually really dope look they even shine in the dark too oh that is tight that is actually really tight <laughs> I was like just trying to body opponents Trying to see how long it took But this is clean This is actually really clean So after 10 kills If you're slaying out You'll go ahead and have this I'm pretty sure you get You keep this after death Like it doesn't have to be 10 kills in a row without dying I'm almost certain Let's go ahead and check out our operator After this 10th kill real quick Look at us bro We look crazy We are completely electrified bro I love that Let's go ahead and do a finishing move in the dark Oh my goodness, that looks so clean. Look at this freaking thunder power we have, bro. That's actually beautiful. Let's keep getting kills and see if we can get maybe another stage. I feel like there's maybe another stage to this, but I could be wrong. We're at 15, so I think I I'm going to keep killing until 20, basically. Okay, here's uh, kill number 20. Let's see if anything crazy happens. So there is a sound effect associated with each transformation, and we are now at the... I'm gonna guess that's the maximum transformation from the sounds of it, but here's the max level uh, electricity for the M13B. And here's the max level electricity for the Victus XMR. That is freaking tight, bro. Like, Tuco, tight, tight, tight. And you hear a lot more thunder as uh, your, your electricity, like, wavers or whatever. But let's go ahead and check out this max uh, stage real quick. There we are, fully thundered out. Our, our shins are, like, a little bit more thundered out and everything. But you can definitely hear the difference within the sound effect of the game. And now let's check out the finishing move here in the dark. Oh, this looks so dope. Yeah, it's not like a major difference between uh, like the first stage and the second stage, but I mean, it still looks dope in my opinion. Like even from like the the first the reactive stage, the first ten kills, it looks uh, looks pretty dope. But nah. Okay, so thirty or twenty is the maximum stage. There was no sound at thirty. I had to restart my game because my PS5 overheated, but. Yeah, so 20 kills is all you need to get to the maximum stage, and it doesn't have to be in a row. 
Like, you don't need to get, like, a 20 gun streak. It could just be 20 kills in general for the match with either the Victus XMR or the Thunder uh, M13B. And if you guys are curious about my meta guns, they do have traces as well. Just make sure you don't change the ammunition on the M13B or add ammunition on the M13B and you have tracers. And don't change the explosive ammunition on the Victus XMR in order to keep the tracers. Because if you change that explosive ammunition, you are going to lose the tracers. And just so you guys can see that the Signal 50 also has the Thunder tracers. I'm using the, the, the Signal 50 with explosive rounds, you know, just to make sure. You know, I have the 50 cal explosive ammunition that came from this bundle and I put it on the Signal 13 or Signal 50 here. And there you go. The Signal 50 also comes with tracers, which is pretty dope if you ask me. Pretty freaking dope. And now here we are in third person mode and this is how the uh, the Thunder operator looks like with it's no, you know, no reactiveness. But now let's uh, let's go ahead and get 10 kills and see how the, the transformation looks in third person mode, of course. Also, there is a nice little wave of electricity with the laser sight. Not sure if I caught that in the first person mode, but just thought you should know. Pretty, pretty dope laser sight for the, uh, for the M13B. Well, this is actually pretty tight. And now we should see ourselves, uh, light up immediately with this 10th kill. And there we go. Nice little electricity around us now. That's actually kind of dope. Kind of like that. And keep in mind, you still keep your transformation even after you die. So, it, it, like I said, it only has to be 20 kills, like, straight up. It doesn't have to be in a row. And it could be with any melee kill. It doesn't have to be kills with the guns. It could like, just be kills in general. It could be with finishing move. And now we just need this last kill. Sheesh, it looks even cooler in third person mode. You guys see this? Like, we have, like, a little bit more, like, uh, lightning coming out of us, which is actually pretty dope. That's actually, like, a really, like, really dope look, if you ask me. Even though you guys are a fan of this Operator skin, bro. It sucks that you won't be able to really see this in, in first-person mode, unless you, like, uh, like, do finishing moves a lot. So, once again, it is cosmetics at the end of the day. Is it worth it? I mean, it's hard to say. It is a really dope skin, though. And when people see you with this skin, they're going to be like, what the heck is this dude using? So for that novelty factor, I guess it might be kind of worth it. But, you know, who am I to judge, I guess, at the end of the day? <sighs> yeah, this this thing looks freaking crazy. That's all I got to say. So is it worth it? I mean, value is in the eyes of the beholder. I just personally think it's overpriced. I still wish it was at 2400 COD points just because it is the M13B and the Victus XMR. But if you like the effects, if you have the money to do so, then go ahead and cop. I think it's a really great bundle. I just think it's slightly overpriced. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking out throughout this long video. There's a lot to this bundle, and I hope they bring out more bundles like this, but at like a 2400 COD point price, because that'd be more worth it, because you're essentially paying $30, half of the game essentially, for like seven items. So that's why I'm just like, you know, be careful with your money. If you value this highly, then go ahead. But otherwise, I mean, save your money, you know. Your life is more important than some cosmetics on a video game. Uh, there's another Vaznev uh, freaking blueprints video that I got to do for all the CDL guns. So I'm going to cut this video short. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and you turn on those post notifications. And stay tuned for more store bundles to come in the future. And I definitely will use this gun on the main channel in a multiplayer setting. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I freaking love you all.